Mitsui and Associates were the first to describe pacemaker syndrome in 1969 as a symptom complex associated with right ventricular pacing. In general, pacemaker syndrome is due to a loss of AV synchrony and it is relieved by AV sequential pacing. But of late, the role of VV synchrony has also been highlighted so that efforts to minimize right ventricular pacing has been promoted. Patients with pacemaker syndrome may present with exertional dyspnea, hypotension, near syncope or even syncope. Syncope occurs in the setting of a drop of systolic blood pressure more than 20 mm of mercury at the onset of ventricular pacing. Easy fatigability, sensation of fullness and pulsation in the head and neck are also features of the pacemaker syndrome. When an intact VA conduction is present, the pacemaker syndrome may be more severe due to the reverse atrial kick associated with every cardiac cycle. Venous pressure elevation as a result of atrial contraction against a close AV wall causes reflex peripheral vasodilatation and hypotension by stimulating the vagal efferents. The reported incidence of pacemaker syndrome varies widely. In those trials in which a dual chamber pacemaker was implanted and programmed to single chamber mode for the study purpose, the changeover rates to dual chamber mode for suspected pacemaker syndrome was high. But in those trials in which a surgical revision was required for a mode change, the reported incidence was low. This may indicate a lower threshold for the diagnosis of pacemaker syndrome when surgical revision is not required. Here is the reference on original description of pacemaker syndrome. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.